If you have a wig that you love, but the color is just too warm or too yellow, like this one, keep watching for a super easy method of toning your yellow wigs. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm on a campaign to make wig wearing more mainstream, so we can express ourselves however we want without people looking at us sideways just because we're wearing a wig. For practical tips on choosing and wearing wigs, wig reviews, as well as a little creative inspiration, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now, I have a very cool skin tone. I know that because when I look at the inside of my wrists, my veins are blue. If your veins are green, you probably have a warmer skin tone. But if you want some more in-depth videos on figuring out what your undertone is, I've listed some in the description box below. Some people with cool skin tones feel just fine wearing warmer colors, but I like my hair to be as cool and ashy as I can possibly get it. The problem is that most hair colors are warm. Most blondes are warm even if they're just slightly warm or what they call a creamy blonde or a honey blonde, it's still got some yellow in it. Now this is Modern Curls by Tressilor in the color 24102R12. I love this wig and I reviewed it already and I will link that review down below. But even in that review, I said, I know this color is too yellow for me. Now I could put up with a color that's not quite right, but for what I paid for this wig, and more importantly, how much I love it, I want it to be absolutely perfect. Luckily, there's an easy fix for a blonde wig that's too yellow. It's a mixture of isopropyl rubbing alcohol with some purple acrylic ink dye. And why purple, you may ask? Well, it's all about color theory. Uh, the opposite of a color on the color wheel will neutralize it. And so if you look at a color wheel, you have purple on one side and yellow on the other. So even if you had a wig that was too purple, uh, if you wanted to neutralize it, you'd put yellow in. So if I have a blonde that's too yellow, I just put a little bit of purple in. I have done this method on lots and lots of wigs. The most important thing to remember is that you cannot make a wig lighter. You can only make it darker. And the final color you get will depend on both the original color of the wig and how weak or strong the dye mixture is, meaning how much dye you have in there compared to alcohol. Now, I personally only use this method on rooted wigs partially because I love rooted wigs and I think they're more natural looking, but practically because the ink will dye the cap as well. So if you have a non-rooted platinum, you don't want a purple wig cap. Now I don't have an exact ratio of ink to alcohol because every wig is different and every wig the fibers are different and the shade of blonde is different. So really, you're just going to have to try, start with a very, very weak mixture and see how it affects your wig. Now I am doing this on a trust lure, but if you've never done this, please do not do it on an expensive favorite wig. I suggest getting an inexpensive wig where you can test it out first. I usually use Paula Young's. I can get those for about $50 until you get the hang of it. So let's go off to the kitchen. Pour your rubbing alcohol in a bowl. I usually use 16 ounces for a short wig and 32 ounces for a longer one. And the ink I use is Daler Rowney FW Acrylic Water Resistant Artists Ink, that's a long name, in Velvet Violet. I use this shade specifically because it's a true purple, not too red and not too blue. So it will counteract the yellow best. In fact, I use so much of it, I order it in bulk. To start, I just put a few drops of ink in my alcohol. If I'm toning a platinum wig that's too yellow, sometimes a few drops is all I need. I mix it around a little bit, then dip the wig in very gently, making sure all the hair fibers are covered and saturated. And then I very gently and slowly squeeze out the alcohol. It's important to squeeze out the alcohol in order to see the true color. If you just pull the wig out of the alcohol without squeezing it, 
you see it looks really purple, but when you squeeze all that excess out, you can see what the color actually looks like, which is just slightly ashier than it was before. The change on this platinum wig is so subtle that the camera might not be able to pick it up, but it will make a difference once it's dry and on my head. Depending on how light the wig is, an alcohol bath with just a few drops of purple ink is all I need. But if you squeeze it out and let it dry and it still hasn't neutralized the yellow enough, you can do the same process again because each time you do it, more of the purple will deposit on the hair. Just make sure to let it dry between baths. When you've gotten the color you want, just gently wring the wig out and then gently to get the extra moisture out, I roll it up in a towel and then put it on a styrofoam head to dry. And as I said, if after it dries it's still too yellow, just do the process again. After you have the color you want and it's dry, you may find that the hair fibers are just a little bit crunchy, but this is just dried residue on the wig. So all you have to do is wash it the way you'd wash your wig regularly. I use fabric softener uh, very gently. Let it dry and it'll be super silky soft again. Okay, here is the final version of the toned wig. Um, I hope you can see the difference. Sometimes these differences are kind of subtle. So I'll see if you can see just by looking at that. Um, and if you can't tell by looking at the color itself, maybe you can tell about how it looks against my skin. It's definitely much less yellow. And I also really like the way this method preserves the low lights and highlights of the colors because if you can see the uh, what was platinum is still platinum what was a medium is still medium and the dark roots are still dark so it preserves that dimension while still toning the wig. Now as someone who likes ashier blondes I use this technique a lot in fact I just toned four wigs this morning. But just to reiterate a couple really important things. First of all, you cannot make something lighter. You can only make it darker. And the final color will depend on the original color of the wig combined with the strength or weakness of your alcohol ink bath. And also, and this is very important, use a weak solution. That means less ink compared to alcohol and see what that gives you. And if you don't get the uh, yellow gone as much as you wanted, after it dries, do it again, but still with a weak solution because what you toned the first time will still be toned. So the second time you'll just get it that much ashier. But after it dries, you cannot take the color out. So just be careful, um, and I have wigs I sometimes have to do two or three times before I get the ash tone that I want. Also, do not try this on an expensive wig before you've tried it on an inexpensive wig. Like I said, I use Polly Young wigs to experiment on because I can pick one up for about $50 compared to the minimum 100 to 150 you're going to pay for a medical grade wig. And once you get good enough at it, you can go on to your better wigs. Do you have a different method you use to tone yellow wigs? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Or if you end up trying this method, let me know how it turns out. For more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And hit the like button and leave a comment because that all helps YouTube decide to show my videos to more people which is the best way I can get the word out that wigs are one more easy but powerful way to express yourself.